Hello and welcome. I'm Monique Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do part four of Mermaid Marvel's event. Hello everybody. Welcome. Nice to see so many of you here. So we're colouring the space, a page, Anastasia, the Reef Protector. You can find the page in the description in the link below. And if you like the tutorials, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, come and join my Patreon, where we do lots of different things that, you, um, that the patrons vote for, like textures, colour theory, um, uh, pencil techniques, how to create textures, different backgrounds, for example. There's lo lots of lots of um, tutorials there. If you act, if you enter tier, you have access to everything that that tier has done before. So come and join us and have some fun while learning. Oh, I see there's a couple of new people here. Hi, Tara. Hi, Michelle. Hi to all the patrons. Nice to see you again. Hi, Isolina. Hi, Mom. Hi, Rina. Hi, Isolina. Okay. Hi, Lizzie. Hi Janine, hi Lizzie, welcome, hi Tanirina, so welcome, so let's start, um, last week we stopped here, so we're going to carry on, we're going to finish off the skin and tone it a bit, so this is now up to you. If it looks too pink in certain areas, then I'll, I'll show you how you can change it a little. And if um, there is, for example, you can add a little bit more aqua to it. And I'm using Prisma Premier Pencils. I will add the code straight after the feet in the description so that you can take out the pencils and follow along if you watch it back. Is there anybody coloring with me so that I know to go a little bit slower? Hi, Abby, welcome. Uh, first color is going to be golden rod. So here where we have pink, I'm going to bring a little bit of warmth onto the skin, but it's up to you. You can leave it just uh, more natural looking, but I'm enhancing the different colors. Oh, Abby, we had a bit of a technical issue. I loaded another link to the patron one. Next, I'm going to use bronze. PC1028.
Hi, Barbara. Welcome. I sent you a message in Patreon. Did you get it, Barbara? Next is Nectar. Mom, can you maybe just give me the code? I don't have a code on my Nectar anymore. It's too small. I'm just bringing in a little bit of pink down here. <laughs> Selena, I think I've used a smaller white before. But it is quite small. Next is eggshell, PC 140. Hi Tippy, welcome. Next is Lilac BC nine five six. And just blend some of the colors here, adding in a shadow with the purple. Yeah, on the hairline. Oh, awesome, Miss Alina. Then Light Aqua, PC992. Enhance some of the blues. Then golden mud. 
a little bit more here around the mouth because this greeny colors will complement the redder tones on the lips. Thank you, Abby. Then a little bit of bronze. And I'm using small circular motions to shade, but with a very light hand. Then pink, PC929. And just blend it in. Hello, review. Welcome. Hi Sherry, welcome. Then pile sage. Just enhance this highlight here a little bit. The one on the cheek. Then I'm going to take grey green light. This is grey green light is two eight nine. Now you can just shape your highlight.
Oh, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, View. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of grayed lavender and just highlight this slightly with a light hand and bring it down to the chin. Soften the colors here. Oh, that's good, Isselina. Next, I'm just going to take my purple. Let's just take... Um, Lavender, BC, no. Oh, my number is off. Mom, can you just type the number in there, please? And just soften the transition. So just soften it all. Nine three four. Go over this section and blend in the colors. So now you can twig your face till you are absolutely happy with it by just repeating the colors and shade it as you want. I'm going to move over to the eyes now. So first color I'm going to use is 50% French gray, BC1072. So the eyelid cast a shadow on the white of the eye, so I'm darkening the corner and the top section of the white part of the eye, so that the eye will look like it's in the socket. Thank you, Iselina. Next is Sandbar Brown. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Next is Sandbar Brown, BC1094. And darken just under the eyelid some more and just the very end of the corner of the eye. Now here by the tear duct I am darkening on the white side of the eye 
a thin line. I'll do the same on this side. Next I'm going to use Beige Sienna. Now I'm blending the white section that's not coloured onto my French grey. So now it will look like she's got yellow eyes. But don't worry, we'll correct it now, but we need it as an undertone. And that's very true, Abby. You must just stay positive, Itzelina. Or oh, everybody must, really. Next is 70% French Grey. So enhance your shadow a little bit more. Just under the eyelid. Blend it onto your beige sienna. Now I'm bringing it just above the little pink line of the eye. Then enhance the little corner. Do you just be below the eyelid? Bring it. That's also just above the little pink line. Um, this is the way, just before you can put eyeliner on, this is the edge of the white of the eye. So very thin line with your French grey, the inside. So it's the white part, I'm just giving a thin line. Uh, the next color is cloud blue. Now we're going to bring uh, the white into the eye, but I'm bringing it in with cloud blue. So right next to the iris. Oopsie. So a thin line. Then in the middle of the eye. With a light hand, I'm blending the beige sienna. Bring it all the way down. Then also around the iris on this side. Uh, 
and do the same on this side right next to the iris of the eye a little bit of cloud blue Next, a little bit of grey green light. Now, just in the bottom corner, oopsie, just on the edge of the iris, and on this side, do the same. Next, I'm going to use Indigo Blue. You see, 901. So do the edge of the iris. Next is PC946. Now on my left hand side, I'm putting brown on the iris. A little bit over the indigo at the top. So I'm just toning the color of the eye. Just a little. But it's up to you. You can do any color you would like. Hi, Christina. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Next is slate grey. So here, the bottom of the iris, I'm using slate grey. So I'm giving her like a bluey grey colour um, eye. Now let's tone it a little bit more greeny tone. But you can play with whatever color you would like to give her. Uh, let's just add a little bit of artichoke on the one side. There we go. Now back to my indigo and just blend all those colors that you've added into the iris on the edge. Next I'm going to use white 
just to do the highlights before we do the pupil. So here's a highlight and here's a highlight and then there's a little highlight a dot on that side and a dot. Next is black. So now just right on the edge and on the edge of the eyelid above the greys that we've added, darken the edge of the iris with your black. Then here from the tear duct upwards We'll add in the eyelashes afterwards. So we're just giving a little bit of eyeliner. But not too much because we must still do the eyelashes. And now do the pupil. Dark at the top, bring it down, do your iris, Thank you, Christina. Next is a little bit of henna. Just go over your tear duct. Then take Espresso PC1099. Enhance the lines and the shadow at the top. Then with the Espresso, the corner of the eye. Shade in that black a little bit in the corner. Now darken the corner of this bottom eyeliner section of the bottom lid. Now I'm going to use blush pink. Blush pink right here. on this one and on this section right there. Next I'm going to take a little bit of nectar go over here by the tear duct just soften Go up with the nectar, also on this side, then the 70% French grey, bring that line in. Enhance the bottom one, shape it a little shadow in the corner on that nectar. Bring that shadow of the white of the eye in. Just enhance 
enhance the top shadow a little. Go around your color. Just at the top. There we go. Next I'm going to take Easy 964. Now enhance the shadow of the eyeshadow section of the eye. So before we can do this lid, we need to shade this. So flicking motion outward. It's narrow at the top. Then enhance your shadow towards this side. Then here, enhance it, a little flicking motion upward, blend it in, darken this section, bring it down. Now 70% French grey. Right here, we need to shape the eyelid now. So that to shape the eyelid, here's a shadow because it's coming down a bit. So this is above, uh, in front of this. So give it a shadow to shape it. And give a shadow to the side. shadow and a little bit here also give it a little bit of a shape here by the tear duct then take your dark brown again And bring that down. And here in the middle. Now we want a little bit of henna. And enhance. Take the dark brown again. Do the nostril, just darken it, and now you can take black and do your eyelashes. So just make sure it's sharp. Let me just sharpen it. <laughs> That's a good one, Diane. Now you can carry on with your eyelashes.
I think it's time for a page giveaway while I do the eyelashes. You can choose a number between 1 and 100. You can win any page from my Etsy store. You can all go now and there will be a new page very soon. I'll probably load it tomorrow or the day after. And there's going to be a male mermaid, a merman. Many have asked for one, so I've drawn one. <laughs> so let's go. Start. So, is all the numbers in? Stop. 81. 81 is the lucky number. Abby and Mom, can you just check who's the closest? Barbara, congratulations, Barbara. He will be long haired, Sherry, and he is sexy. But, yeah, you know, there's different sexy for everyone. I hope he's sexy for you. Congratulations, Barbara. You can PM me or DM me um, your choice of page or you can wait for the new one. Now with the bottom eyelashes, <laughs> no Selena, we won't be colouring him online. I must first, I'll finish as much as possible on this one tonight, then I'll leave the hair and the corals for you to play with, make them whatever colour you want to, and then I'm going to carry on finishing up that pirate girl. A little bit more um, straight after this one and then maybe we can color Or maybe then there will be another patch that we can color.
maybe a Viking of some sort. What would you like to see? Tell me. Okay, so eyelashes done. Okay, they look thicker on camera. They're actually very fine. Next is, first I'm just going to do the eyebrows. So I'm going to take light umber as my base here and just fill in the whole shape with one layer. Then I'm going to take dark brown, PC946, and just draw in. Some of the heads. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, maybe we'll do a male. Maybe a Viking, maybe the merman. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how much interest he creates. Uh, next is black. Now you can really shape Now here at the bottom of the brow Here where it's highlighted The bottom half of the brow is slightly darker And then also here. So just enhance the shadow areas. Then a little bit of chocolate at the top. And then a little bit of golden rod. Now we can move over to the lips. I'm just going to change my hand position so I'm turning the page slightly so that you can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Diane. That's very true. There's not a lot of people coloring males, is Selena? So now with the lips, my first color is henna.
So now downward is a shadow. Slightly here at the top. Then bring it down in the middle. Do your mouth corner. And bring it up. The mouth corner. All the way up. Do the bottom of the lip. The edge, but you see I leave a little space here. Then here on the outer rim, this is the inside of the lip. Now just a little line here. The outside of the lip, flicking motion. This is the outside of the lip. It's like a straight line, straightish line. I've lost a bit of my drawing here with my hand moving across the page the whole time. Then the inside. Next is nectar. We want nectar. Just fill in the spaces in between. We'll shade it now with different colors. So would you like to see a merman being coloured or would you like to see a viking at a later stage? Or a guardian in males? What would be your interest? Next is slate grey. Do you prefer a young one or an older male?
Oh, thank you, Sherry. Next is chestnut. Now we can really start shading the lips. So soften the area. A yummy one. Oh yes, older men can look fantastic. Next is Palmer Violet, PC1008. So I'm bringing in a little bit of purple because we have so much purple tones and aqua tones. Then henna again and just blend the nectar in a bit. We'll work on the highlight just now again. Just to soften. Next is a bit of terracotta. Next is chocolate. Where's my chocolate? Oh, here we go.
So don't worry, it does look a bit bright, but we're still going to tone it down. We just need all these bright colors as undertones before we finish um, the colors off. Oh, sorry, this is Espresso PC1099. Thank you, Alison. So, in the mouth corner, darken the upper lip. Same on this side. Darken this bottom section of the bottom lip. Next, I'm going to use pink, oh, blush pink, BC928. So now just to go over this whole section of the lip, just to turn it down and blend the color in. Then work your highlights here. Oh, and that bottom. Then henna. And also enhance the shadows here at the bottom.
still with henna. I'm just softening this line here. Now I'm going to take beige sienna on the edge. I'm going to soften it on the side. So go over your edge, soften the line lightly. Same here. With the beige sienna, I'm also going to color a tea. Plain beige sienna first. Yes, that's very true, Janine. Then chestnut. Yeah, for some reason the camera does not want to read this, um, you know, in the background. Like your light aquas, it doesn't read it like we see it, more greeny tone. It just makes it blue. But you'll all see how bright it really is when you do it yourself, when you do the tutorial. So that's good, at least. I'm going to take clay rose and just soften this line. I'm sure everybody that's done the background so far has seen how wonderful the colors look when it's mixed compared to what you see on the camera, it just looks blue. Next we are going to use Oh, that's interesting, Diane. Uh, next is seventy percent warm grey. Enhance this shadow. And then the side. The upper lip. And 
and haunts this shape shadow. Now a little bit of light umber in the Cupid's bow, just above the white line. And then bring it down here on the other side and slightly across. Then also down here. Next is grey green light. Now here we enhance this section. Bring it down but not all the way down. I'm stopping it there. And on this side highlighting the lip. Softening the line. So the lighter section is just the bow in this particular image and highlight a little bit of shine on the lip. Now we can quickly do the teeth. I'm going to take black So now really enhance the mouth corners. Then darken. Then beige sienna. over the black that we've added so you get a shade then back to black the up just below the upper lip seventy percent French grey at the bottom Shade in just below the black. And now you can draw in the teeth. Sandbar brown. At the top. Now just black again.
is Sina. But this is Sina. Shade in your black. Soften it. Bring that shadow forward on the lips and down. Enhance the outside a bit. That was Hina. Still with the Hina. Bring back your highlights with the grey green light. And then I'm going to use cloud blue just to whiten the teeth slightly at the bottom. Then chestnut. Just blend in that black on the from the upper lip. Now take nectar Okay, what did I do with my nectar? Here's nectar And just blend in your highlights lightly Just so that it all comes together Now we can do some pearls Pearls are easy to do we're just going to play with some colors on them. I'm going to do a couple of them so then you can carry on with them. But they're great fun to do as well. So I think we can do another page giveaway quickly. Pick a number between one and a hundred. You can all go now. So the first color is white. So right at the top, I'm just adding white dot. Because we don't want to lose the shine. 
So first color is white. And pearls are always an easy, if you're not sure what to do with the rounded shapes, then just do pearls. Easy does it. Okay, so it's all the numbers in. Let's start. Stop. 52. Our lucky number is 52. Okay, so now that you have the white, the next color I'm going to add, because we are doing the mermaid, and I'm just going to shade the pool to pick up colors from it. I'm going to use light aqua. Sherry, congratulations, Sherry. Sorry, I just need to sharpen my light aqua. So now, if you draw a little line across, that's where I'm going to add my light aqua. So here it's going down here it's moving this way and then it's moving so you follow this line like a ray with how the pearls are placed or where you put this color so here Okay, so now we have our light aqua in. Next, I'm going to use beige sienna. Beige sienna on the side of your white dot.
Okay, the beige sienna. So I'm going to use my left hand, sort of a corner, there where your dark part starts. So right next to all the white, I'm putting the beige sienna. On this side, coming down. Okay, so let me rather explain it on a bigger scale. So if this is the pool, this is where we've added the white. Then we've added, okay, the aqua moved as we were going on. I've added the light aqua here, but it moved as the pools were placed, um, positioned. And now the beige scene I'm adding here. Okay. okay, maybe the white looks a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so back to the page again. Next color I'm going to use is indigo. So indigo will be the darkest part of the little shadow line that's on there. So a little flicking motion. I'm adding a shadow line in the middle of the bowl. And you'll see that there's a shadow line. Um, it's towards the middle, but it varies also with the placement of where the pool is in the string. So now on a bigger scale, We've added it round about here because here's another pull. So this is the start of our shadow line. Next, we're going to use some French grey, 70%. So go over, extend your shadow line. Don't worry about it. We'll highlight it again. We just need the line to be quite prominent. So I've extended my shadow line with a French grey. And down here. Depends on the placement of the book.
Next I'm going to use Grade Lavender. Now the Grade Lavender, I'm going to go from the top going on to the Light Aqua. Hi Barbara, thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. Okay, so on the bigger scale, I've added it here. And I've blended or oh, I've mixed it into the light aqua. Next, I'm going to use Blue Violet Lick. Now, just in the corner, where you have that light aqua on the shadow line only. So I'm highlighting or lightening it, the shadow line that's on the pool. Thank you, Tippy. So basically, on a bigger scale, I've got this going on. Next, I'm going to take Beige Sienna again and go lightly over the shadow line around my white. Just lightly. So now I've gone all around onto onto the shadow line. Okay. And next is slate grey. And just blend it. Now it looks quite dark, but don't worry, we'll lighten it just now. We just want to get that shadow line right. Next, I'm going to take grey green light for my top section. So around the white just slightly and the top around the white and the top around the light white and the top around the white the top
Now take your, oh, so I've went around the white, hold on a second, around the white, so I've blended it in, okay, it's on a bigger scale, so it's, it's easy just to do that, but on the bigger scale, it would look like this, and I've highlighted here. And it looked like this. This is the light aqua section. Hold on a second. There was indigo. And there was some blue violet lake. So because it's small, you've got all these colors going. So then I've just gone onto the light aqua in certain areas. There we go. It's getting there. And my non. So this is what we have so far. And we had grey. Now we're going to take indigo, enhance just this corner, like that, for now. So just there where they are connecting, so on the darkest part, just go over that. Uh, next is 70% warm grey. Now, just in that corner where we've added the indigo, just enhance it a little bit more. We'll blend it just now. And you can use this tutorial whenever you see a portrait or something with pearls or beads. It's just an easy, simple way of doing it. And so now what we've done is here where they are connecting, I'm darkening it so it is a shadow. And now we are going to take great lavender and just shading the highlight in. Ugh, the highlight, the shadow.
But remember, I'm using colors to suit this image. You can use your own colors. You don't need to do it like this. This is just a simple, easy way of doing it. Of, and to show you what I'm doing at the moment. This is just a quick and easy. See, you just do it because they're small. Now just take your white and just enhance your highlight again because remember we've done quite a bit of um, colouring around it. Now I'm taking the white all around in a thin line. So go lightly over your light aqua. So I blend the edges. Blend the edge. Enhance the edge. I've just blended the edges of the top highlight. Now, once you add your shadows down here, they will start to look better. So, I'm going to take seven uh, black first. Where's my black? Don't worry, we're almost done. So, in the corners of each one at the bottom, just make a little V. A little V. where they are crossing. This is where we... Now I'm taking it up to the shadow line. Very thin line. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Christina. Now I'm taking Sandbar Brown first. So right at the bottom of each pool, you give a thin line. Now you take your 
um, 50% French grey. No, 50 is too light for our image. Let's go 70% French grey. Now we're going to shape the shadow. I'm making it a little bit longer in the middle. And you can go into more depth and shade in this bottom highlight in the corners, for example. But because it's so small, you don't really need too much detail. But you can add if you want, no problem. But there we go. Or you can go a little bit of cloud blue, enhance your light aqua. If you find it too light, it's easy to just add a little bit of light aqua again. Enhance certain areas where you see the colors coming from, for example. And here you, you do color change. See. But you can make sure that yours is a little bit more rounded. So I'm just taking black. I've done them quite fast now instead of making sure that I kept the round shape. So all you do, if that happens, just go over your V's again and shape them. upside down bits and shape here do the V shape them do your V Yes, I think we must actually look into some of the tutorials. And we've done, I have on my Patreon, we have rose gold, gold, semi precious stones, rust, silver, steel, and pearls. But I think I would do a more in depth one on pearls, maybe. And maybe do some other stones, like faceted gems or something. Um, you wouldn't really, 
you would get more from all the aquas in the water because the hair is further backward and the pearls is more towards the front of her forehead as she's looking down. Because um, this is uh, before and the hair will be more flowy to the back. So you will, everything on this side, w you will get more in the f reflective light. Hi, baby boss. Is the link not working? I'll reload it just now on, in the description. And that's it for tonight. So now I'm going to leave you to play around with the hair color and with your um, corals and that's it for the mermaid tutorials And so thank you, Abby and Mum, for being my mods. Baby Boss, I will load, uh, 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 reload the link onto the description and with all the codes of the pencils that I've used. Um, thank you so much for each and everyone that came out to watch the stream. I really appreciate it. I think next week we will be carrying on with Leandra the uh, Pirates. So I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you so much, Lizzie. You are all very welcome. So please come join us. We will do one more tutorial, I think, on the pirate. And come and have some fun with us. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, join my Patreon. There's loads more tutorials on there. Maybe I will... Or if you have a, a special something that you think that you, you would like to see a tutorial on, you can peer me or DM me or send me an email. I can look into it and see how we can work it into um, tutorials, either on public stream or on Patreon. Bye-bye, everybody. Stay safe. See you next week. <laughs>